Innovator Irelia has been around for multiple patches now, and she continues to dominate despite Riot nerfing her. In this video, we'll run through the build, what items and augments to take, how to play, as well as some positioning examples. The build is a little flexible as we have some open slots in the final build, but overall it is pretty linear. The core units for the comp are these. Here we have Irelia as our main carry, Nar, Senna, and Seraphine to give us 3 socialite, we have Echo for scrap and Jace for 3 innovators. A standard level 8 version of the comp looks like this, where we add in Singed and Zillion for 5 innovators. The bear gives our entire team more DPS, which synergizes really well with the additional attack speed from Jace, and also the 3 socialite on Irelia. Another variation is this, here we add in Sivir and Jarvan for 4 strikers. This gives them a boatload of AD, and it also gives you a proper secondary carry with Sivir, especially if she gets her attack speed buffed up by Jace as well. The additional attack speed Jarvan gives Irelia also really helps her carry harder. There are more variations you can run depending on your augments, so I will cover those in the late game part of the video, but if you are a newer player, I'd recommend you just stick to this variation until you get more comfortable with the comp. Irelia is our main carry, so we prioritize making items for her first. She has two core items, and that is Last Whisper and BT. Last Whisper is crucial to make sure we don't get stuck on tanks. If we can't get through a unit, we have no way of dashing to the backline and we lose right off the bat. The second core item is BT. This makes sure we can heal up from all the damage she will be taking. Even though we have 3 socialite, we need BT as Irelia will take too much damage due to our limited frontline. Hodge can work as a replacement, and if you get powerful enough healing augments, you can occasionally drop BT for Hodge or another damage item. The third item wants to be a damage item. The best one is IE to make sure we always crit and shred armor, but Deathblade and Giant Slayer can also work as replacements for IE. And in some lobbies where there is a lot of CC, QSS can be a good third item as well. You will throw support items on Seraphine and Echo with your remaining components. They want both mana and AP items like Sojin, Morello, Deathcap, and JG. Echo can also utilize Frozen Heart which is insanely strong if positioned correctly. With this comp, tank items are not great, the only tank we run is Singed, but he is not a good tank, especially when we don't have any chemtechs in. Because of this, we only build damage items and support items in this comp, but you can slam tank items on Singed in the early game for board strength and tempo. If you get a spatula, there are two options. First one is to make Assassin Irelia. This is incredibly strong as she bypasses the frontline and jumps straight into the enemy carry. Striker can also be made and allows you to fit in 4 strikers more easily, and Striker Chase can also carry hard when backlined. The best augments for this comp are Ancient Archives to grab an Innovator Emblem, Celestial Blessing, Clockwork Heart, Emblem or Soul, Duet, Enchanter or Enforcer Heart, Emblem or Soul, First Aid Kit, Innovator Heart, Emblem or Soul, Makeshift Armor, Meditation, Overpower, Self Repair, Socialite or Striker Heart, Emblem or Soul, Thrill of the Hunt, Portable Forge, Burden Veil, or Share the Spotlight. I mentioned a lot of augments there, and the best ones out of those are Duet, Innovator Heart, Overpower, Socialite Heart, Burden Veil, and Share the Spotlight. The carousel priority for this comp is Sword, Glove, Bow, and Belt. Although Irelia is our main carry, a lot of the units for the comp are 1, 2, and 3 cost units, so we can find a lot of them in the early game. Naturally, the best opener with this comp is to have innovators with either Ezreal or Twitch as your item carrier for Irelia. Having innovators early is essential for this comp, as it can be hard to find them and to start the lower cost units once you get to level 8. Once we have found our comp, we need to make items, and as a general rule, we want to make an item if we have 4 or more components. Some good items to build in the early game that transition well into Irelia late game are BT, Frozen Heart, IE, Last Whisper, Morello, Deathcap, and Sojin. Your early game strategy will depend a lot on how good your opener is. In some games you play for a loss streak, and in some games you play for a win streak. If you want to learn more about how to play the early game, check out my guide where I go in depth on that subject. After the Krogs round, you should have more direction towards a comp, and the general requirements to play Irelia is to have one component for Last Whisper and one component for BT. You also really want to have some of the lower cost innovator units as well, as they are hard to hit later in the game. During the mid game, you always want to hold Irelia if you're not playing her, and you want to hold the other units as well if you don't lose eco for holding them. If you are weak in the mid game, it's usually best to roll level 7 and all in there. You can do this on either stage 3, 5, or 4, 1. You will only all in on stage 3, 5 if you went on an 8 loss streak and you're losing a ton of HP. What you look for when rolling will be a little different every game, but it wants to look something like this, where you're looking to stabilize off of Irelia 1 star with at least 3 innovators. If you don't hit 5 innovators, you can play 4 scrap or 4 strikers as well here, which will be very strong. 
During the mid-game, it's also important to scout. This is so we can see how many other people are playing Irelia. This comp can support 2-3 players at max, so if you see more than that going for it, consider pivoting to another comp like Jin, Draven, or Sivir. On stage 4-1, you want to be level 7, and from here you have two different options. You can either roll level 7, or you can go for a fast 8. Since our main carry is a 4 cost and we want to hit Jace as well, rolling at level 8 is a lot better. But since this comp is not reliant on enemy legendaries, we can get away with rolling at level 7 in some cases. The games where you roll at level 7 are when you're 70 to 60 HP or lower, you're lost streaking, or if a lot of other players are rolling down here as well. When rolling down at level 7 on 4-1, it's very similar to rolling down on 3-5. You want to stabilize with a board that looks something like this. The goal from there is to go level 8 on 5-1 and then roll for the rest of your comp there. So try not to roll below 10 to 20 gold as we need the money to go level 8 later in the game. Before you roll at level 8, it's very important to know which units you're looking for. This is where all the previous scouting we have done comes in handy. With all the information on what the rest of the lobby is playing, we can more easily take in champions and synergies that benefits us the most against the current lobby. Generally, you want to end up with this board most of the time, but if you don't have enough damage on Irelia, 4 Strikers is great to get in another secondary carry and to get more damage into Irelia. If we get plus 1 Innovator, you generally want to drop Ezreal or Singed for Orianna to get Clockwork and Enchanter in. Besides that, there is very little we can do here with this comp unless you get multiple plus 1 Augments, which make this comp relatively linear and easy to play. Once you hit your board at level 8, you have two different options from there. The first one is to roll for Irelia 3 star. This is definitely the first or eighth kind of play, but I only do this if I have 5 or more, I'm uncontested, and I also have enough gold and HP to do a second large roll down later. The second option is to go level 9 to add an Orianna. This will require you to be relatively healthy, typically 40 HP or more, and also requires you to have 2 star the vast majority of your non-legendary units. But the more gold and HP you have, the less 2 stars you generally need, as you will be able to make it to level 9 sooner and also with more gold. If you are high rolling and you're not able to go level 9 with a lot of gold, there is not really a super capped version of this comp. In that case, you just want to try and 3 star Irelia or some of your other units on the board. General positioning with this comp looks like this. You will put Irelia in wherever the Socialite Hex is that game. The bear wants to be protected by Nara and Singed to make sure he ults once or twice. Zillion wants to be positioned below Singed, so that he tosses his bomb at whichever unit Singed will throw into the enemy backline. Ezreal is farthest away to CC bait. Seraphine and Senna are cornered to heal as much as possible with their spells. Now let's move on to some in-depth positioning examples. For all of these, we're assuming that Irelia is in the 3 Socialite Hex. Against the first guy, the big threat is Draven. Singed is throwing away the Braum to make him not ult Irelia. Zillion is positioned to throw his bomb onto Braum. Echo is positioned to land away from Draven, so he can hopefully ult twice. Irelia is positioned to attack Trindamir and to take him down for a fast reset on her spell. Seraphine and Senna are cornered to heal as much as possible with their spells. Against the second guy, the big threat is Malzahar. Singed is positioned to bait out Alistar's ult. Ezreal is positioned to catch the Cossacks to make sure he doesn't jump into our support unit's backline. Nar is positioned to tank the first ult for Malzahar. And our backline is lined up to heal up Irelia and our frontline. Against the third guy, the big threat is Talon. Ezreal is catching the Talon to make sure he doesn't hurt our backline or Irelia. Irelia is on the opposite side of Talon to stay safer as well, and Singed is positioned to ult Braum and tossing him away from the Irelia. Our backline will always be in danger here since there are a lot of assassins, but Talon is the biggest danger, so they just have to tank the Cossacks and Nocturne here. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what video you want me to make next, and if you want to get better at TFT, join the Discord. We got over 7,000 other players there who are hungry to climb. And if you want to get coached by me, the information is over on the Discord server as well. So take care and see you in the next video.